Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 Online video. And in this video, I want to help you guys make some extra cash. Now, I've been doing a little bit of cash videos lately, and that is because I want you guys to make as much money as possible with Red Dead Online. Now, today we are coming back, obviously, with another making money possibility, and this time we're doing it just outside of Saint Denis, and hopefully you guys will like the location but as we go on over to the specific location which is going to be just west and i mean literally just west of saint denis all you have to do is follow these train tracks right to the specific location now if you guys don't know where saint denis is and don't know exactly where i'm going to be going i will show you once i get there on the map and we are actually almost already there believe it or not now in this location we're gonna find alligators we're gonna find birds and we're gonna find lots of fish so if you guys need to get some resourcefulness to get some honor up this is going to be another great opportunity to do that now the reason that i'm going a little bit slower is i'm specifically looking for some birds in this area but what we're going to do is i'm going to show you guys on the map where we're currently at and this is the location that we're going to be kind of like hunting on pretty much everything north of this bridge right here i'm going to kind of zoom in so pretty much just i mean literally just west of saint denis and pretty much straight east of Caliga Hall. So this is the location that we're going to be going in right here. All right, so let's go ahead and kind of just look for some birds. Now, every once in a while, you'll find some things on this side of the track, which we can always add to our money-making possibility, which I'm not really seeing anything over here, but I did see or I did hear a gator earlier, and you're going to have to be careful to not point it so much at other uh, NPCs because we don't really want to get wanted. But what we're going to do is we're going to head this way. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to jump up here if our horse decides to let us. There we go. All right. So you can see one bird right there already. And it looks like it's a spoon bill. At least that's what it looks like anyway. That's what it is. We're just going to go ahead and give it just a little bit of a love tap. Let it know. What? Okay. That was interesting. Um, no other birds are flying. At least not as of right now. Now, if you guys do this location... Um, every once in a while, you'll actually get another bird to spawn. I'm hoping that I didn't ruin that thing too much, but it's probably only a one star. Great. That's not exactly what I wanted to have happen, but apparently my shot was off that first time. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and skin the spoon bill because we're going to add it to our horse. Now, there's really not more than just a few bird in this location or birds, I should say, plural, but we do have some alligators that are pretty close. Now, if you guys want some herbs as well and i know that a lot of, i know that a lot of people make fun of my pronunciation of that it's because i am american and especially you know i'm not gonna give a the location of where i live but that's just how we pronounce it where we're currently at so anyway let's go ahead and put this on our horse right here perfect now what you need to do is I've, I actually got a little bit too close to this water right here, and you can start to see that the fish are spawning. But what we want to do is we actually want to head on over here next to this tree. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to pull out our fishing pole real quick. Now, it's going to be a little bit better if you guys have your um, like lake lure, which I already have equipped because I've already been doing this a few times. And all you really need to do is kind of stand here for just a moment, and you're going to look behind us just to the left of our character and you're going to start seeing a whole bunch of fish starting to spawn in now what's also going to happen is when you're kind of over in this location back where we just picked up the other bird the other spoonbill another one will spawn in usually during the time that we're over here because we're far enough away from it to to spawn now you, we can put our fishing pole away we definitely have enough fishies in order to do this what did i just okay we can put oh that's uh Oh, I, I only knew of one location where you could actually get the vanilla flower. That's interesting. Okay, well, I guess we found another one. I didn't even know that one was actually there. So we found that one together. All right, so what you're going to do is... All you need to really do is just get on this side of all the fish. And you can start to see that they're already... Oh, God, hang on. We want to shoot those, those ducks. But uh, unfortunately, they're just a little bit too far away. They spawned in, and I wasn't really ready for them. So all we need to do is run towards these fish. 
And we want them to beach themselves. And look at all of them right here. Look at this. Look at them. Look at them all, you guys. This is so many fish. And they're all just going to die. They're going to die just for us. So that we can pick them up. And we don't want them to go back into the water, though. We need to push them up. We're going to start picking all of them up. Now, for whatever reason, the big boys here are not cooperating with us. No, no, don't go back in the water, you little punk. There we go. Let's go ahead and pick up all these. Because we definitely want the smallmouth bass because they're going to go for $2 a piece. So look at all these, though. You guys saw how many just kind of came out of the water right there. It was absolutely insane how many fish will spawn in this location. And you can start to see that there's pickerels, there's smallmouth bass, there's some catfish, we've got bluegills, um, and I think that's really about it. Every once in a while, you'll find a bigger boy. And I mean, I'm talking one of the big boys, like a, like a, a lake sturgeon or um, a muskie or something. I can't remember the actual ones that are in this specific area because they don't happen very often. But what I want to do is I want to push this fishy out of the water as best that I can. No, no, no. Yes, out of the water. Why are you not getting out of the water, my friend? Okay, well... Apparently, he's just being a little bit of a putz, and he doesn't want to cooperate with us. But what we're going to do is we're going to pick up the rest of them. Oh, there we go. There we go. Because that is a smallmouth bass, and we definitely want him in our pocket. Oh, hang on. We have... Well, that's ravens. I thought it was something different. Let's go and pick up this one. And during the day, it seems to be a little bit better than at night, but you can see the fish a little bit easier uh, during the nighttime. So you guys can kind of just choose your personal preference of what you would like to do. And oh, we're making, we're getting so many bass here. That is so good. Um, all right, let's go ahead and use our eagle vision to kind of see if there's anything else. I'm not seeing anything right in this location. Every once in a while, you'll get one that's stuck like right along the shore. And it's kind of in the water, and it's really hard to see. But what we're going to do is we're going to chase the rest of these guys out real quick. Let's see if we can get the rest of them to get on land for us. Okay, he wasn't... Oh, there goes the one. Perfect. And then there's a couple in here as well. There we go. Let's go and pick up the pickerels. Perfect. Now, the, the, the pickerels will sell for a buck a piece. Or obviously getting our resourceful. Which is going to help our honor. Which, you know, I you know, I, I get in some fun. That one literally just jumped right out of the water in front of me. That was hilarious. Um, if you guys get into a lot of fights like I do, then you guys definitely need to get some honor. And I still am trying to finish a couple of the missions uh, from the online gameplay. So that I can actually um, finish the complete story missions. And hopefully they will add more of the missions to the story at some point, but I want to become honorable just because for me, it's hard to stay honorable to be completely honest because I get into a lot of fight with a lot of other players sometimes. Not that I cause it, but it happens. Uh, okay. We just got a couple left if we want to. All right. We're just going to see if we can push these guys this way. And they don't look like they're wanting to... They don't look like they're wanting to go up on the shore. There we go. This one is buried, it looks like. And see what I mean, though? It was kind of hidden. There was no way that I would have noticed that. And there's there's one right there. We're going to go ahead and grab that one. Let's see if we can get this, oh, this one right here out of the water. Now, if you want to shoot them, you definitely can. See, like, I would have never had any clue that that one was right there um, if it wasn't for me just walking over it. Now, this one doesn't want to die for some reason. Whoa. And another one actually spawned in right behind me, it looked like. And this area just honestly keeps spawning more and more fish. Now, as I was mentioning earlier in the video, see how the birds respawned? And now there's a couple more. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get those now. So we got a spoonbill and a spoonbill. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot him. And how did I not hit him? That was absolutely insane. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and grab this one right here. Let's go ahead and skin this guy. We're going to go ahead and add him to our horse as well. Okay, I'm not seeing the other one. The other one must have landed in the water right there. But this is the one that we want to add to our horse because it is a two-star versus a one-star. So let's go ahead and pick up that one right there. And we're just going to run. And it looks like there is something flying off in the distance, but I don't think I'm going to get to it in time. Those look like they're just ravens. Yes, they are. But there was something that flew that way, and I couldn't tell exactly what it was. Oh, no, the, that one didn't land in the water. It just landed behind this. Perfect. Now, you can continuously do more and more fish. Now, unfortunately, it's going to be harder for them to spawn. As you can see, they're not really spawning anymore in this area. And that's because we pretty much got all of them. I mean, there's like one fish right there from a ripple effect. Now, there are snakes, which you can see this one right here. But what I want to do is I'm going to shoot that guy right here in the face. And then I'm going to shoot this guy right here if I can. The snakes are a little bit tougher to hit. Okay, whatever. So let's go ahead and grab, jump on in here. We're going to be able to hopefully pick this guy up. Oh, he's too deep. Too muddy. Okay, so that was a perfect alligator, unfortunately. So we're not going to be able to put anything on our horse right there. But there are other ones that do spawn in the area. But that's probably the closest one that I have been able to find. And it pretty much always spawns in the exact same spot. So let's go ahead and mount on our horse because there's really nothing else that we can get right in the specific area. And I do see a couple more birds flying above me. Let's see what, where they're at exactly. A raven. We can get some extra XP for that if we want it. Not that it's going to be worth it because they are only ravens. Now, the best way to get on top of the tracks is to go over to this location right here. And then you just need to jump up with your horse. So that works the best, at least for me. If you guys find another area in this location, then definitely let everybody else know. Um, now, there are gators that do spawn up in this area. And every once in a while, you'll actually get a small alligator to spawn over on this little bit of land right here. But I don't see one there right now. Because we could always add that to the back of our horse. And I would love to get a big gator on the... And we got a duck. We can go pluck him if we want, which I think I might do that. What, what is that right there? Okay, we just want to be careful because of, you know, any of the alligators here. I'm not seeing anything it's going to skin this duck please don't eat me mr oh my gosh this is definitely toxic water right here get out guys you're gonna kill yourselves all right so let's go ahead and get back on our horse and let's actually head on over to the butcher now pretty much anything that you want to find in this area you can definitely go ahead and add that to your horse if you like but I always like to do is kill that first bird and then do the fish and then see if the birds respawn. And they typically almost always do. But if you guys find anything different, then please let me know. But we just need to head east back into Sandini, looking along this path to see if we happen to see anything else. And I really have never noticed anything along these train tracks that is going to help us make any additional income. But if you guys happen to see anything, then just pick it up along the way. There just never seems to be any animals along this entire route right here. But all you have to do is follow this train track right back to the butcher. And we're going to be able to sell all of our items. Now, like I said, if you guys can get a big fish like lake sturgeon or a muskie or whatever else is in this location, then definitely add it to the back of your horse. You're going to make more money. Or if you can get the alligator skin, it's more money for you guys. Whatever you prefer to put on the back of your horse, just get something if you can. And I really didn't have that opportunity at this time, but that is perfectly a-okay. Now let's go ahead and just get off our horse here and let's run over to the butcher. And I know that my cores are a little low, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and sell real quickly. And we got 1566. So let's just go ahead and sell all these just real quick. So 1566 is just what we need to remember. We're going to sell these flight feathers. Okay. Obviously the smallmouth bass. Done. We have the spoonbill plumes. Lucky, We've got a couple of the game meats. A few of the gamey bird meats. Then we got a couple duck feathers. So not a whole lot there. 
And then we're going to get some pickerels that are a dollar a piece. We got the uh, catfish, which is 75 cents a piece. And then we got some animal fat, animal fat from that last duck. So we started with 1566. We actually made uh, over 40 or basically $40 in this trip. And you guys can do this very, very, very quickly if you guys want to. It's a great way to have a little additional income. Another great spot to do that. And you're also going to get your resourcefulness. So that way you guys can increase your honor. But my horse actually wasn't close enough to me. I still see that the spoonbills are actually on my horse. So let's go ahead and sell those quickly as well. And there we go. Now it's definitely over. It's like 45 bucks. Not too shabby at all. But anyway, that is all the time that I have for in today's video. If you guys did enjoy it or found it helpful in any way, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.